Hey everybody, uh, we're just gonna go over the brain body diagram today. This is a great way to communicate uh, the understanding of how chiropractic works and how it helps people. So um, here's what you do. Uh, so you start out, what controls everything in your body? Your brain, right? So you're gonna ask, when I'm asking the question, that's what you would ask the patient to try to get them to engage with what you're saying. So what controls everything in your body? The brain. And how does the brain send all of the messages to your body? How do those messages go back and forth? Through the nerves, right? So these nerves are sending messages back and forth, brain, body communicating, millions and millions of messages. Many of these messages through the mechanoreceptors, right? All these messages back and forth. And when that works well, how do you think your body will function? The patient says, Good, and you say, right, it would be functioning good or a state of what we call ease, where everything's just working well. What happens is in life, we do things where we'll slip, fall, shovel, sleep wrong, right? These things will happen and it will create uh, irritation in the mechanoreceptors or a interference in the nervous system, the communication, where some of these messages then don't get through properly. And when those messages get messed up, what do you think is going to happen to the body's function? It's not going to work as well, right? It'll start to malfunction. That malfunction then leads to a state of dis-ease where things don't work right, which then progresses down into a state of symptoms. And that's where you're feeling it. So it's got to get bad enough that you actually feel it first, but can you see how things are actually developing before that? Now, usually you don't feel any of these symptoms until you get below about a 40% function, and then those symptoms start to show up. So it's got to get pretty bad. That's why you see people who have different diseases and problems, they don't really notice any symptoms with it until it gets super bad. That's why you get your cholesterol checked and your blood pressure checked in a mammogram, pap smear, colonoscopy, all these different tests we do on people. Even going to the dentist, they look at your mouth and test your mouth. They don't wait for symptoms because we know if you do, by the time it's here, it's already in a bad place. Now, how do you end up there? Well, you end up there like this. You start out, hopefully, when you're little at 100%. Everything's working great with all this communication. But then you slip, you fall, you shovel, you sleep wrong, crash on your bike, car wreck, play football, you do all these things in life that stack up like straw on a camel's back. None of them are even hurting necessarily yet until you drop below this 40% line and now all of a sudden you're hurting. Now here's the thing, when you're having symptoms down here, you could come in and we could work on you and we could turn you around and as soon as you got right there, how do you think you would feel? Answer is you'd feel fine. In fact, as soon as you cross the 40% line, you'd feel great. You'd feel like you were here. And in fact, you'd swear you were there, but here is not here. Those are two different spots. If we stopped right there, what would happen the next time that you did something in life? Right, it would drop you right back down. And doing this over and over and over allows things to just progressively keep getting worse, which many people then just attribute it to age. It's not age, is you're just letting things get worse. And why would you knowingly do that? Nobody would, right? So as this is building up over time, it's gonna keep spiraling down and that's not your best option. What would be better would be to try to bring this up here as high as it can get. Once you get up there as high as you can get, the first question is, how would you know where you are between here and here, both spots you feel fine? So how would you, as a patient, know where you are? You're not gonna know about how you feel. Right, the answer would be the testing. The testing's gonna show you where you are. If you're sitting here and you're failing a whole bunch of tests, but you feel great, you're just on the edge. If you're up here, you're passing most of the tests feeling great. Now, once you're up to the top here, are you just gonna stay there forever doing nothing? 
or are you still living life? Still living life. So you're going to do things. Pulled a big weed in the garden. Rolled over my garden tractor. Shoveled snow. You're going to start doing things. And you could just do nothing and allow that all to build up again until you started having symptoms. Or imagine this. What if we just checked you out, looked at your range of motions, your mobility, and the testing, found any tight spots that you didn't even know about, we pulled those out of there and just kept that doing that. And rather than a relief care cycle down here where you're just getting worse over time, because every time you flare it up, it's worse. What if we kept your cycle up here where everything's functioning at a higher level? And that's what we call prevention, maintenance, or just a good darn idea to keep your body working well, right? Keep things working well so then when you're old, you can still do things, still be mobile and active, and have the best chance at that quality of life that you want. And that's the secret, is keeping things up here. Watching with testing, not just looking at how my symptoms are when I'm below 40%. Sadly, in the chiropractic, massage, PT world, most patients are still utilizing their symptoms as their only thing to know if they should get care. When really, testing should be the measurement, watching that, keeping things good, and then that's gonna give you the best quality of life possible.